another thing that I'm really looking forward to to learning more about in your book is this idea that you have of questioning everything without disrespecting anyone. Um, so I just wanted to, to kind of pick your brain in terms of what that means, A, for people that are entering the workforce now, and B, on the other side of that, what that's going to mean for brands who are hiring this next generation of employees. Yeah, I think this is really interesting. And uh, I mean, I, I won't be rude enough to ask you how old you are, but you sound <laughs> relatively young. Um, and A, that's good, because <laughs> I think it's important to keep up to date. I'm very fortunate that I've got a son who's 38 and two kids are 13 and 11. Uh, so a big gap, but they keep me young and keep me up to date with what's going on. But for people coming in the workforce, I think the workforce is very different from when I started. I started working in 1970. Uh, and, you know, in 1970, it was very static. Everyone went to the office. No one did any work at home. Uh, you wrote things out and someone else typed it for you. Uh, I, I don't know what the actual number is, but I suspect we do more in a week now than we did a whole year in those days. <laughs> um, so I think it's important to recognize that young people have a very important role in organizations changing. I think your your point, though, is how do you kind of incorporate the challenge culture at a more junior level? And that's a question that several people have asked me. And I always say, I think you start with yourself. You challenge everything you do. What are your working habits? How could you improve? How could you become more productive? How could you know more? And I think if you keep asking questions, and the question, and the big question that's highlighted in the book is the question why. So I think you start with yourself, and then you perhaps go to some friends and you go and say, look, I've been doing this. I wonder if we should start doing it ourselves. So the whole concept of, quite, of questioning and challenging without disrespecting people is really about the way you go about challenging. If I say to you, um, oh, God, that's dreadful what you've done. You get immediately defensive. Or that's never going to happen. You again get defensive. But if I say to you, you know, I really think that's interesting, but have you thought about doing it a different way? So the whole point I make, and, you know, I had another person talking to me about the book earlier today, tried, tried to tie it very much to what's going on in the White House, and I said, okay, I don't really want to get into that, but I think the point is right, that it's about civil, um, being civil in the way you do it, about being positive about the way you do it. It's about positioning and asking lots of questions, and challenging doesn't have to be negative, it doesn't have to be disrespectful, and I think it has to be extremely positive, because it's all about making things better. Mm -hmm. It's not about destroying things, it, it, it's helping you anticipate the future in many cases. It's about coming up with better solutions to problems, but you do it in a very respectful, civil way. And the word civil is all the way through the book because I believe it's very important. Completely agree. Without taking that step to challenge anything, you're never going to evolve. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's interesting. I, and the, again, it's in the book, but I coach young kids soccer. I've coached actually soccer for 50 years now. Oh, wow. uh, and so last night I had the first few sessions of the new season. And so I was getting to understand how this particular team, what formation we used because we had some new players. I didn't, I didn't tell them. It wasn't, okay, this is what the defensive four people do. I asked the players on the team to describe what they do. Now, I did that because I believe in questioning. I believe in the more people are involved, the better understanding they have. But I think it was a lot better for the new players to hear from their peers than from me just lecturing them the whole time. So this very participative approach I've used all the way through my career. And, you know, I'd this is going to sound slightly arrogant, so I apologize. I stand by my record, mm -hmm. but it seems to have worked pretty well. 